Also give a double honor to the elders of GMS, honor to the Akian, and peace and blessings to you brothers and sisters that listen to Hopeful Lex. And do this video today to the Pabi Haobashim El Shah. Inspired to do this video because um starting to see on the comment board, man, a lot of Christians is putting their two cents in. Writing all kind of crazy comments about Jesus saves and um, um you got to call on Jesus' name and the rapture, right? And, you know, we had to break it to y'all. And y'all been looking at the videos, man, which shows and proves that this truth is affecting the world, man. Okay, because a lot of churches is shut down because the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. We talked to a couple people from them Christian churches and we asked them, you know, when last you been to church, man? They said since before, before March. Because from that time to March, a lot of quote unquote churches has been shut down because the spirit of the Lord is not with them clowns anyway. You see, and there's been a lot of run ins with the Israelites. You see David Lynn out there getting cut up. Right. Um, and more and more people are coming into contact with the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. And that's what we had to break it to tell y'all, man. Sweet Jesus, Cesare Borgia is not going to save you man okay he's been cast down he's a false idol and a most high spirit does not reside with christianity that's not the truth because if christianity was the truth like we always say the end would have came already because there's billions of christians on the planet earth man okay the satanic pope pedophile pope the unholy father is a quote-unquote Christian man okay he's a father of the 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 most um the biggest institution in the world man Roman Roman Catholicism so how and he's a pedophile and the men underneath him are pedophiles man so how in the world can that be the truth man okay and says Ray Boger has been already been revealed quote-unquote white Jesus right but you still got these um unlearned Christians, especially if you Israelites are still in the Christian church, you're crazy, man. All right. And I'm gonna post some videos up um in a minute. They getting these are the quote unquote leaders that's gonna lead you straight to your destruction, which they already have. All right. Now that was all a curse. Us worshiping uh Christianity, right? Which they say they're Jesus was born December 25th. A lot of people going to quote unquote celebrate his birthday Christmas, right? Which that's all paganism, man. All right. Which has nothing to do with the scriptures. But the scriptures does say this though. Deuteronomy 4.27. And the Yahweh Bashim Shah shall scatter you among the nations. You shall be left few in number among the heathen. Whether Yahweh Bashim Shah shall lead you. And there he shall serve gods, and lowercase g, the work of men hands, wood and stone. Okay, so a lot of our people bought onto the cross. A lot of you into that dumbass Islam, all right, Muslims, uh, which they have quote unquote Jesus in there as well, all right. They say he's just a prophet, right, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell, yeah, because these are idols, okay. They bowed onto all kind of idols in the Roman Catholic Church, and they bowed onto the Kaaba stone in, in Islam. But if from thence thou shalt seek Yahweh Bashim El Shah, thou shalt find him. And we found the true Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? In the land of our captivity. And that's the name we're going to need in order to be saved, and not Jesus, man. Because you got Israelites calling on Jesus the Christ. That's not his name, man. Okay, because Jesus the Christ comes with a whole nother image and comes with a whole nother doctrine. That's not the true doctrine, the biblical doctrine, man. It says, What? If thou wilt seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul, when thou art in tribulation, which we are about to enter into, because the V is here, man, it's here, man. It's no longer um coming down the road or in the near future, very near future. It's right here, it's at the door. Okay, it's already landed, man. Now they're just thinking about the distribution. That's it. When thou art in trouble and all these things shall come upon thee, 
even in the latter days. So let's talk about now. If thou would turn unto Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, thy power, and thou shalt be obedient unto his voice. Okay, the prophets, man, bringing out the word. For Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, thy power is a merciful power. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, neither forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he sware unto them, man. Okay, so now we return back to our power, man. Okay, and our power is not Jesus the Christ. That's an idol, man. Okay. Cesare Borgia, man. Okay. And you go back further, Serapis Cryptus. Cryptus. You see? Because you had him back in Egypt. Was worshipped as an idol as well. Most I cast all them things down now, man. Because we found out the truth. You see, that scripture says... Let me get that. Exodus 20 and 3. So you Christians, you're in trespass. The scripture says, Exodus 20 and 3, Thou shalt have no other gods before me, man. And if you worship in Jesus, that's another God, man. Okay? Because according to Jesus, the doctrine of Jesus, okay, he came to save the entire planet Earth. That's not Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai came to save his people, starting with the elect, man. So scripture says, thou shalt have no other gods before me. And let me get Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8. So, you you know, you Christians, you looking at the videos, man, especially you Israelites. Um, that's still in these churches. OK, you, you double minded. You stuck between two opinions because this truth is affecting y'all and it's starting to make more and more sense. And not only that, we're the only ones out there blowing the trumpet and warning you. These quote unquote pastors is in hiding, man. You know, COVID-19 scared them off, man. See, because they ain't men of the Lord, man. You see? And that tired ass Christianity that come from the plantation is no longer working, man. That scripture says, I am Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, Isaiah 42 and 8. That is my name, okay? The Most High's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah in the Hebrew tongue, not Greek. Or Anglicized English. All right? Because in the Greek it was Jesus. You see? It says, And my glory will I not give to another. So the Most High ain't going to give his glory to another. Neither my praise to graven images, man. The Heavenly Father don't give his praise to graven images. And graven images is part of the doctrine of Christianity. You see? They bow down to Mary. They bow down to angels. They bow down to the cross. They bow down to white Jesus. Okay, a lot of you Hispanic tribes are heavy into idolatry, man. Scripture says Ephraim is joined unto idols, leave him alone. Okay, they got all them idols in their house, especially around this time of year with Christmas coming up. You can forget about it, man. But the most high said he does not give his praise to another. And them graven images are going to lead to your ruin. It's going to lead to your destruction. That's why we were led into captivity in the first place. Okay. That's why, matter of fact, I'm going to get a couple more precepts, man. Okay, so that's why the Apostle Paul said this, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 6. Okay, there's only one Savior, man. His name is Yahweh Shai, man. Call on him, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And he's revealing himself more and more and more through the scriptures. And brothers is having dreams and visions of the Mashiach, man. He's revealing himself, man. That's power right there, man. Okay? 2 Corinthians 11 and 6. No, 11 and 4. It says... It says, For if we come if preacheth another Jesus, and that is Jesus right there. Okay? That's another Savior, that, the other white meat. Okay? The Mashiach was a dark-skinned man, extremely dark. Okay? Because we're the people, man. You call you so-called white people. You're the devil according to the Bible, man. You're the biblical Edomites. Okay? That's who you are, man. There's no hope. Now there's any salvation for you. And yes, color matters in the Bible, man. Everything matters, man. Okay? Because now the truth is being brought out on the, the, the real color of the Mashiach, the real description. All of a sudden, now color goes out the window. It don't go that way, man. It's just that now... <laughs> Y'all being put on trial. Okay? 
that other Jesus is being put on trial. Okay? It said, For he that come and preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached. So the apostles, the prophets, never prophesied of this Jesus, man. This Cesare Borgia character, man. All right, it says, or if we have received another spirit, and that's why it's important knowing the name, because that, like we said, that name, like we will say so-called Jesus Christ, we're speaking to somebody that's not learned, but that name carries a different vibration than another spirit, man. Because when you say Jesus, that's the image that pops in people's mind, man. When you say Yahweh Shai, that another image pops in people's minds, man. All right, it says, for you receive another spirit, which we have not received, or another gospel. Okay, the gospel is salvation for the 12 tribes, redemption by the blood of the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Being delivered and saved from my enemies, as it tells you in the book of Luke. Okay, and the only way we can be saved is through Yahweh Shai spilling his blood and coming back to redeem us, man. Okay, we're brought back by the blood of the lamb. That's the gospel, man. Because Israel was cast off as a nation. The Most High did away with us. So who's the high priest that's joining us back to the Father? Yahweh Shai. That's the gospel, man. And that only belongs to the Israelites, the Gentiles that received salvation, that got grafted back into the nation, were Israelite foreigners. And we all were um Gentiles at one moment in time, man. We were all worshiping that quote unquote white Jesus. Celebrate Christmas, man. Going to church. Celebrate Easter. You see? Not anymore, man. That spirit is dead, man. Okay? Truth has not ring out throughout the planet Earth. It says, which we have not received, he might well bear with him. So, um, that's, uh, like the scripture says, you, you preaching another Jesus, man. You see? And that's why, um, uh, the Mashiach said Matthew the 24th chapter. So, you know, just going in on this Jesus character, man. A lot of you guys, a lot of these quote unquote Christians leaving comments. All right. Y'all need to be quiet, man. The scripture said be willing to hear. So let every man be slow to speak and slow to wrath, man. You see? That wand, that spell, that don't work anymore, man. Okay, that was strong delusion. That Jesus Christ, man. That's what Yahweh Shai said, Matthew 24 and 4. He said, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I'm the Mashiach, and shall deceive many. <clears throat> Which really started with that image. Because that image deceived the whole world. You see? But the, the scripture says in the book of Thessalonians that the wicked was going to be revealed in the last time. And he has been revealed. He's the devil. He's Satan. And it show you how dumb and ignorant they are. If you look up that image, if you look up that image, it tells you that Cesare Borgia was the model for that image, man. And Showtime showed you the um, <laughs> the information is out there that they were the first crime family in Europe, man. The Borgia family. Okay, this guy was having sex with his sister Lucrecia, and he, he killed his brother Giovanni. You see. That was a treacherous dude, man. And he died at a young age, too, because he was also homosexual, man. You see? That's the spirit of these Edomites, man. You know, he was a real, uh, he was a real sinister dude, man. Cesare Borgia. And matter of fact, I think it was, uh, Nicolio Machiavelli wrote about him. All right? That dude was power hungry, man. You see? He knew no bounds. And that's also what led to his downfall when you go into his story. And that's the man they put up as the Lord, man. And that would never be forgiven. Okay? You might gonna pay daily for that, man. And from that time period on, the Renaissance to rebirth to renewal, Esau whitewashed and wrote himself into history, man. And like it says in that same book of Test Second Thessalonians, scripture says that what? Second Thessalonians, let's jump down. Chapter 2, verse 3, it says, But the Lord is faithful, will establish you and keep you from evil. It says, um, no, 2, 3, Let no man deceive by any means, for that day shall not come, except they be a fallen away first. And a man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, man. That's who they are. Who opposed and exalted himself above all that which is called the Most High. 
Okay, he took on the image of the saints. He took on the image of the image of the Most High and His Son. Okay, he took on the image of the Allah Hayyim, man. Okay, or that is worship. So he that in the Most, he as the Most High, sit in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Come on, who is that talking about, man? Okay, that's talking about y'all, man. You devils, man. You see. That's why verse 8, then shall the wicked capital W be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, a.k.a. the prophets, man. Okay, you've been uprooted and destroyed, man, with the sword of truth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And Yahweh Shah is going to do the rest. He's going to bound the serpent. All right. Okay, that dragon, the beast, man. All right, along with the whore that's going to go up in flames, which represents you eat a mighty power structure. But before you physically go down, your image has to be cast down, man. Your nakedness has to be revealed. Okay, that you're not the Messiah. You're not the Savior. You see? And that's not his name. All right? Which cuts these Israelites so they keep exalting that name, man. Jesus to Christ and Christ and Jesus to Christ, man. You coming in a different spirit, man. You coming in a wicked spirit, man. Right? Like the Apostle Paul said, that's not the spirit that we preached of, man. You come, that's another Jesus, man. That's not Yahweh Shai. Right? That's why even when you go to Exodus, the third chapter, when the Mosai gave his name, what did he tell Moses? Verse 15. And the Mosai said, Move unto Moses, thou shalt say unto the children of Israel, the Lord, capital L-O-R-D, that's Yahweh, the power of your fathers, which is Yahweh Bashem El Shah, Yahweh through Yahweh Shah, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob have sent me unto you. This is my name forever, man. So the Most High's name never change. Okay? Yahweh Shah's name don't change. I'm going to read that after this. And this is my memorial unto all generations. So... That don't change, man. And what does scripture say in Hebrews 13 and 8? It says, Yahweh Shai, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Okay? <laughs> Yahweh Shai name don't change. Regardless of what the translators put down, man. It's in the Hebrew tongue. Alright, it says, Be not carried away with divers and strange doctrines. Christianity, for it is a good thing to heart to be established with grace, not with meats, which I profited them which have been occupied therein so the scripture says don't be carried away with divers and strange doctrines and that's why we became a strange nation in the eyes of the heavenly father because we were worshiping idols okay following doctrines doctrines of devils you see but Yahweh Hashem Shah had mercy and got us out of that man got us out of that psychiatric ward man you see, now we know who y'all are, now we're in our right frame of mind, and now we have the name with the right doctrine. And through that Lord willing, we're going to be saved, man. All right, and that's why the Most High said this, especially for you idiots, that's, um, you Christians are still celebrating Christmas, man. Unbelievable, man. Still running with this lie, man. It says, Jeremiah 10 and 1, hear ye the word which Yahweh Shemel shall speak unto you, O house of Israel. There's a point I want to get on to verse 10, but I read the Christmas part as well. Okay, because it goes into exactly what I want. They'll say that the Lord learned not the way of the heathen. So Christmas coming up in a couple of days. That's a heathenistic holiday. Goes back to ancient pagan Babylon. Ceramics and some time moves in it. Then the Roman Santanelia, the soul invictus, the unconquered sun, sun worship, man. All right? And Christianity made that religion popular. All right, it says, Be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain, for one cut that they tree out of the forest, the work of men's hands, the workmen with their axe, and with evergreen tree. They deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers. So that has nothing to do with the Lord's birthday. That goes back to Babylon, man. Okay, they fasten it with nails, they put gifts in a new tree. And they were mourning, weeping, and um, for Tammuz, because he died during hunting. And he was found of rabbits. That's where Easter time. That's where Easter ties in as well. All right. 
They are upright as a palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. That also in it to do, to do good. Okay? For as much there is none like unto thee, O Yahweh Basham El Shah, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. So you have to know the name, man. Okay? You have to call upon the right name, man. I'm going to read on down. Who would not fear thee, O king of nations? For to do thee do for I pertain. <clears throat> it says, For as much as among all the wise men of the nations, in all their kingdoms, there is none like unto thee. Who? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh man. And everybody's going to witness that in these last days. When the Most High destroyed this place, his name is going to be magnified, man. Just like he did during the time of Egypt. For there is altogether brutish and foolish the stock is a doctrine of vanities. And that's what we're cutting right now. That's why he said, sweet Jesus is not going to save you. It's the doctrine of vanities. Silver spread into plates is brought into Tarshish and gold into Euphaz, the work of the workmen. And the hands of the founder bloom purple as they clothing. They are all the work of cunning men, these dumb idols. But Yahweh Bashim al Shah is the true power. He is the living power. An everlasting king, and at his wrath the earth shall tremble, and the nation shall not be able to abide in his indignation. Starting with Esau, Edom, Adawam. Okay, you first up on deck, man. Okay, you've been revealed, as the scripture says. Thus shall he say unto them, The gods that have not made the heavens and the earth. Right? So we went in on Islam, went in on Christianity, and all these other pagan gods and deities. Even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. He have made the earth by his power. He have established the world by his wisdom and have stretched out the heavens by his discretion. Who? Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, man. The Most High created all things through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right. It says, um, Maria says, He uttered his voice. There's a multitude of the waters in heaven. And he caused the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He make it lightness with rain and bring it forth the wind out of his treasure. So the Most High created all matter, life, created space, the heavens, okay? Everything on earth, man, was created through the power of Yahweh Bashim El Shah. Every man is brutish in his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image. This is what Jeremiah was trying to tell Israel, man. And this is what we're telling you Israelites now. Okay, especially you that's still in these churches, man. For this molten image is falsehood and there's no breath in them. Okay, them, like we said, them idols that y'all worship in these churches. Okay, that also the Kaaba stone, man. Bow down to that nonsense, man. COVID-19 shut all that down too. <laughs> so much for Allah, man. All right, it says, They are vanity and the work of errors in the time of their visitation, they shall perish. Okay? So the Most High is casting out all these idols and all these religions. And what the what the Bible call um religion um doctrine of vanities, man. Because it's not a, it's not gonna amount to anything but your own death and demise. Alright? So call Lahim La Yahaba Shinel Shah. The truth is back into earth. It's back in the earth. And Yahweh Shinel Shah has his men out there, man, prophesying, man. So the scripture says, like Yahweh Shah said, man, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. With that I'm gonna say shall one.